are exposed to 80,000 chemicals every day in our food, in our water, in the air. We have chemicals in our bloodstream, in our uh, DNA, and we were exposed to it from our parents, our mother's milk, and when we were developing in the womb. In the last 50 years, a dramatic increase has occurred. There has been a huge increase in cancer, in autoimmune disease, in autism, and in chronic disease that has been developing and there is a direct link to chemicals and our bodies becoming overburdened. They found out that with this exposure to vinyl chloride, which is what makes plastic, that their bones were melting in their body. That it was so toxic, they, they wore no safety gloves, no clothing, no boots, that it was just seeping right into their skin and basically killing them. Companies don't have to list all the ingredients on their label. With skincare, 5% of the ingredients don't have to be listed and that's usually all the crappy preservatives. The first toxic chemical to avoid is of course formaldehyde. If you haven't heard of formaldehyde, it is a known carcinogen which means it causes cancer and it is used to embalm dead people. This carcinogen can be under different names and that's why it's so important to really grab a book, have a good reference so you guys are aware and know that you're learning to avoid this. Uh, this is one of the top things I would definitely avoid and there are different products that actually have formaldehyde releasers that release formaldehyde into products over time and the real problem is, and I'm just going to go off for one second and get back to the chemicals, but the real issue is is that people, and he by people I mean like scientists and doctors, don't yet know the damage of a chemical when it interacts with something like your skin with another chemical, with a vitamin even, with a nutrient, and you know, what it could create. So that is why, again, like, we don't really know too much, but with what we do know, it's so important that we start to make a change in our life to prevent against disease and issues. Next chemical to avoid, and speaking of interactions, is sodium benzoate. So with sodium benzoate, and I've mentioned this in other videos that I've done, is that it actually interacts with vitamin C or vitamin E and creates benzene. So benzene is a toxic chemical. It is in nail polish, it is in beauty products as a preservative. I mean, if sodium benzoate is in something, there's usually uh, like a 99% chance that there's gonna be vitamin C and E and it'll interact with that. Now with benzene, it is a known carcinogen. It causes cancer. It also affects your organs, your hormones. Benzene also causes harmful effects and degenerates your bone marrow, leads to a decrease in red blood cell production, which leads to anemia. So it is a very toxic chemical. Phylates. So phylates are basically, and you can call them different things, Th thylates, I think they were saying they're called. I call them phylates, and that's how I've heard it pronounced, but whatever, doesn't matter. Now, these ones are ones that you really want to avoid. These chemicals basically are plasticizers. They help products stick to your skin, but they are detrimental to your endocrine system, so your hormone and reproductive system. They imbalance hormones, they cause skin issues, and they affect you almost immediately. And you sh well, women with breast cancer, they've seen huge amounts of phylates in their breast tissue. In fragrance, phylates are actually uh, usually used in fragrance. So fragrance, which I will talk about in a second, has usually like hundreds to thousands of ingredients in one ingredient. And it's also contaminated in that. And they also say that phylates um, are toxic to fetuses, cause birth defects in male babies. Phylates also impair fertility and are suspected cause of endometriosis and PCOS, so polycystic ovarian syndrome. So again, one to really look out for. The next ingredient is fragrance. So like I mentioned, this one ingredient can have up to thousands of ingredients. And I was actually, so in this book, The No More Dirty Looks, there's a woman's story by, her name's Betty Bridges. In 1988, she was performing her routine duties at work in the health clinic when all of a sudden she couldn't breathe, she couldn't get any air in, she ran outside, the feeling was gone, so they connected it to a change in the cleanser that uh, they were using for, you know, keeping your hands sanitary, and uh, the, the change in the ingredients of the cleanser was fragrance, and it would take her up to eight years to even figure out, they estimate, what she was allergic to because there's so many 
ingredients in this one chemical. Fifth chemical is actually a contamination. So it's 1,4-dioxine contamination, which is generally contaminated in sodium lauryl sulfate, which is in shampoo. So it's called SLS, SLES, 4-dioxane causes cancer and causes organ toxicity, reproductive damage as well. ETA. So it's a binding stabilizing ingredient. It's toxic to our organs. The seventh toxic ingredient is ethanolamine. So these are surfactants, which basically give that foaming ability. So in like shampoos and body washes, they are, give that ability for it to foam. Same with sodium lauryl sulfate. And uh, these also cause hormone disruption. They cause uh, fetal brain development. So issues with that and uh, skin toxicity as well. The eighth chemical, of course, I couldn't miss out on chemical sunscreens. So these are very toxic to, again, reproductive system or hormones. They say that chemical sunscreens, because they can't actually block UVA, the damaging sun ray, they cause aging. And they're basically not even like useful. They Yeah, they may help you not burn, but you're still absorbing UV, UVA rays and you're causing aging to your skin with these chemical with these chemical sunscreens which are also causing cancer last but not least the solution is there any solution that we can do to avoid these chemicals and yes there is there's always that positive aspect that you know once you learn more yes there is responsibility but with that responsibility comes freedom and there are ways to avoid these things. With my future videos and with all the videos I do on my channel, I actually give many tips and will be giving many more tips to help you effectively detoxify these chemicals, these heavy metals, radiation, anything your body is exposed to every day. And I've already done many videos on ways that you can already start doing this in terms of taking really good supplements, the different things you can do like exercise, stress management, avoiding toxic chemicals in your beauty care products. It's definitely really important to take those steps incorporate these different things that you can do to detoxify these chemicals out of your body for just a healthier more vibrant life for just beautiful skin of course these chemicals are causing aging and doing all these things to detoxify and to avoid chemicals is anti-aging and that's one thing that made me so upset is I was spending so much money on products to help with my acne that were causing my acne. I was spending so much products to help decrease my scars and my age spots and you know developing wrinkles that were actually causing it. That I was buying $250 creams like La Mer and whatnot and uh, they had the same ingredients that my you know $6 shampoo had. Start reading your products. Start making changes and start helping yourself and other people around you just to live a healthier more vibrant cancer and disease free life thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video i truly hope you guys learned how to take more care of your bodies and to live a longer happier life we're not on this earth for a long time and that's why it is so crucial to really take care of us, ourselves, and the people around us. So I thank you. I hope this video didn't depress you, but you know, motivated you to really take more responsibility for your health and the health of those around you. I will see you guys in my next video.